Ladies and gentlemen, Ross Woods. Hello guys, and very welcome to this uh, lovely weather. And for some of you, all of you, maybe it's day two here. Were you yes. doing uh, Helix? Yeah. Yes. 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 So then you're gonna go to a better ride this day. It's gonna be Loki and Balder, of course. Yeah. 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 My name is Rasmus, and I'm working as a supervisor for the rides department. And I'm also a bit in charge of the Halloween season with all the Ooh. haunted houses and stuff. Uh, but now in the summer, we're working with the uh, rides everywhere. So we're going to go into my home area, that is the Alderado area with Balder and Loki and Colorado. So follow me that way, and we're gonna have an awesome day. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So day two at Leesburg featuring Pleasure Beach Experience and Theme Park NL again. This morning we will be starting with a Balder and Loki ERT. Later on in the day we will also be doing a guided tour of Helix. <laughs> What did you think of Balder ERT? Balder? Yeah. Oh my god, back row is insane. Um, front is still good, but back is a game changer. Game better, changer. It's a better ride. It's a better ride than the back. Would you say it's your favourite wooden coaster? Yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. So, it's smooth. I like it rough as well, but it's smooth as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's really good. good stuff. And we've had a ride on the log flume. Yeah. That was Mildly well. moist. Yeah. Alright. What did you think of Mechanica, which is going around behind you? I didn't like him and I didn't like it. You didn't like it? No, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. <laughs> Especially when you go upside down, it's not for me, that sort of stuff. <laughs> You don't really like the like going to the fair and stuff because you get scared on yeah, them, don't you? No, I don't like them type of rides, not for me. <laughs> you having fun guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, good stuff. What's your favourite ride so far? Balder. Balder? Balder, yeah. Good stuff. And in case anyone's wondering, we are all, well not all wearing yellow and blue, but of course it is a mark to the Swedish flag, the yellow and blue. Not everyone has PB merch on though. <laughs> Having a good day? Yeah. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Favourite ride so far? Helix last, last night. night. Helix last, last night. Helix last night. Oh, Balder this morning. Oh, no. Super. <laughs> Didn't get off the blue train at all. No. Stayed on it every single time. It was brilliant. Good stuff. And what did you think of the log flume? Oh. Ask. <laughs> yeah, what did you think of the log flume? It was brilliant until the drops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's actually working today. <laughs> See PB people, some have spotted the camera. I'm <laughs> 
running ahead to get the code for the game. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> Just run into the queue to find the code for the game. It's crazy, Dean. <laughs> looking forward to Helix again? Yeah, looking forward. I enjoyed it last night, but I think it's still great right even today. So Good stuff. Forward. Yeah, good stuff. Right, this is the express entrance. We don't have to queue the 80 minutes, frankly. We going on? What? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. I'll follow you in. Yeah. So as part as part of the Leesburg event that we've got today, we have been given fast pass to use on some of the main attractions like Helix. So rather than waiting for 80 minutes to two hours, we're thankfully going to be walking pretty much straight onto it. Looking forward to it again. Good stuff. What about Davy? We can try to rotate. We can try to move to Ilast. We can try to get a spare room. We have a lot of space. I can't walk away. Sissi, do you think I'm I think it'll go around empty again while they clean the sick off. we saw when Andreas took over, we saw that it looks more like we have a big big coaster and a small car uh, beneath it instead of a coaster inside the car. So we discovered that's not the coaster for Lisa Bay, but it's a really good coaster. So we began from scratch and the Green Fire uh, concept was actually from 2010. That was one and a half year of progress for nothing. <laughs> Um, but then we changed the concept for more loopings and more speed and longer track. And then we got Helix. And I think we managed quite good. I don't know what you think. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Because now, uh, the first year, 2014, it didn't look so good on the hill because all the trees were uh, torn down, it was no grass, it was just rock and said, oh my god, we have destroyed the mountain, why have you done this? But now, uh, four years after, we see that it has come back, all the grass and the trees have got the leaves and so, so it looks really, really good. And I think we will stay here for at least 20, 30 years. So, uh, I think we can find a good concept there.
Um, yeah, we have three trains. We can uh, have two trains on the track at the same time. We have like uh, three sections of track. We have the first section here between the station and first uh, launch. And then we have the second, that is the biggest one, between the two launches. And then the launch to the break one. So when the first train has left the top path, we can set out the train. But now after the seat belts, uh, it's almost in every time we reach the brake run before we send the second, unfortunately. But I hope it will be better when the staff know more about the belts and the guests knows more about the belts. Because now we have people who visit this belt for several years and they know, just yeah, sit there and turn it down, <laughs> pull it down. Um, but yeah, I think it will be better. So, any question about the track itself, or do you want to go back to the garage immediately? I would like to ask uh, the magnetic uh, acceleration bar, does it need uh, a lot of maintenance, or is it just easy to handle? It's quite easy to handle, quite it's easy handled to handle. Uh, by itself. Yes. Uh, so, we don't have so many technical problems about that yes. at all, actually. It's more like if it's sensor or circuit cuts, or yes. that is the problem, but with the launches, almost never. So, in comparison to all mechanical launches, if we compare with the uh, Canon and the Interview yeah. Coaster, this is much more reliable. Yeah. Because that had another system with uh, uh, yeah, hydraulic... Uh, hydraulic launcher cable winch. Yeah, cable winch. Yeah. Uh, I think the punch was a little better, yeah. Canon and the uh, But it's more reliable and more smooth. So, we spare this is much better. Yeah. Because it costs less <laughs> in the maintenance. Yeah. Thank you. Do you often get rollbacks, or are they very no, rare? it's really rare. Yeah, okay. Uh, Canona, we could have rollbacks every month, but here it's really, really rare. Fair enough. Mm. Good stuff. <laughs> right, mind the step, pass it on. Mind the step. Size of the wheels. <laughs> Those tyres are in good, mate. Yeah, nice. Yesterday, when you told me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't come down. Oh, 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 I know that a lot of you were here yesterday uh, when we switched the track and so and it's a little bit more interesting when the trains are on these uh, tracks inside like here. We have three trains and we also have three spaces for the trains. We always have the three trains in the garage during the night. Um, other parks I know have their one train at the station and the other one in the garage. But here we have all the trains in the garage during the night. And if it's something that we really need to fix with the train, we use that track that because that we have the heavy lift uh, that can pull up really, really heavy things. On it. Um, and what's really, really good with uh, mag tracks is that they have small, small white wheels on the sides. So they are uh, going on this track here, which means that, uh, or there, or here, which means that the big wheels are always free. So it's really, really easy to change wheels. Uh, unfortunately, you are a little bit too many to uh, see the garage for this very barn. But then you would see the difference that there uh, you need like hammers and tools to just uh, change one wheel and that can take several minutes. But here it takes like 30 seconds to one minute to change one wheel. It gets really, really fast. Uh, so the mechanics love to work here, but not so much down there <laughs> on the other coaster. Um, so when we built this garage, we wanted to have space so the mechanics have have a good working place. 
have also needed the space so they can walk around, not uh, touching any uh, things that's dangerous. And as you see, with a lot of space, you can uh, have different things in good places, so you always know what the stuff is about. Uh, I've been in garages where everything is just in uh, square foot or so, so I'm really happy about this garage here. Uh, and if there is any problem or so uh, that we can't solve for themselves, we call Mac and they uh, send a mechanics here because we have a fully functional garage here, so we don't need to send down the trains to Germany. So that's really, really good and that's effective for us. It costs a lot to send a train down to Germany and then back here. Hmm. Any questions? More, more questions you have, more information I can give you about Helix. I know quite a lot, but not the details about the mechanics. I know uh, some of you are probably mechanical engineers and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm an economist, so I don't <laughs> know so it's much like that. How often do you need to get back down here to look at the trains? Oh, every morning. Uh, no, no, uh, the Mac engineer. Oh, Mac. Uh, once per year, I would say, uh, uh, when the season starts, but not so often. Any questions? What's the, what's the most common uh, problem that you have with them? Um, well, the trains itself has uh, magnet magnetical charges beneath the uh, train. So when they are on the station, it goes up to the charges and load it it's for uh, all the lights and all the everything else. So it also checks the, uh, the safety bar because you have two of them. They're always locked, but it's first, first um, train check the left and then when you come back, you check the right. So always one that works, but both are always locked. So if one of them doesn't work, we take it inside here. Um, so, because of these magnetic things, uh, like magnetic things can get stuck in them, like uh, coins or lighters or keys or so. So, 2014, when I got around theme park uh, review, 99 guys, uh, we came to the, the park train and we didn't realize why, but it was because one single little lighter uh, had found a way up to the the magnetic things. So the computer said that was something was wrong, but it couldn't find it. So it took one hour before we found this little oh, no. <laughs> uh, So, and also because of the magnetics, people that have pacemakers and so, we don't want them to uh, ride them. Yeah. Ride the coast at all. I don't think it would be anything dangerous, but you can't be sure, as we said, you know, before. And then what's most what we have problem with, with every ride we have here, it's always like sensors or a circuit, um, can, what do you call it? So, yeah. But that takes just several, a few minutes to fix. But yeah. the operators can't uh, fix them for themselves. Is that fair enough? Mm. How often do you have to change wheels? Do you know? Is it often or...? Often. We have a lot of wheels for every train. I think it's... Uh, it's free for every... Each side? Yeah, each side. I think it's uh, mainly if you start to see any wear and polyurethane. Yeah, yeah, so we... I mean, I think you will have some old wheels here uh, on the side, so you can see how they look like when they're not good. But they change wheels every morning. Oh, wait, yeah. It's over there. Oh, it's cool. Oh, yeah, it's
Oh, yeah. What do you think of Helix after Great. many goes? Awesome. So Favourite coaster? No, no, no I've, I've done it that many times. It's one of my favourites. One of your favourites? Yeah. Very good. Awesome. Good stuff. So the group has now finished the behind the scenes tours and we're in the Helix shop after another ride on Helix. And we have Joel. Yeah. Do you like Helix? Yeah. It's one of your favourites? My number one favourite actually. Number one? Yeah. Excellent. I my think it's better than Shambhala. Oh I do, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's more intense for a start. Yeah. But also like the the yeah, the airtime is much better. Yeah, definitely. But also I think this is smooth actually than yeah. Shambhala. Definitely. So was it your first number one before this trip? Or is it your number one after this trip, for example? Mm. Is it is it a new favourite? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Because like, I, I've never done this ride before this trip. So ah, okay. So it's like your new number one. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. Good stuff. And here's Lucas. Hello. Hello. How are you rating Helix? Great. It's perfect, perfect uh, kind of coaster of the same which we have Blue Fire. I think this one is better than Blue Fire, of course. Definitely. Probably. Probably some chance will be better than I can have on the road yet, but I'm going to, so I pretty much like Helix. Is it your number one coaster? Ah, uh, hardly no, it's not. No. I'm sort of like a Silver Star kind of, so Shambhala is my number one. Possibly in the future, Fury 3 to 5 will be my number one, maybe. So we have no more event activities planned today, so the group is mainly doing their own thing, but there is quite a lot of us still together and we're all heading towards the ghost walkthrough. I'm not too sure about it, all I know is it's a bit of a scare maze, so I'm sure there'll be a few people who don't like the idea of this, me being one of them, because I really don't know what to expect. It is a very nice area. Yorkshire, Yorkshire coal. They were focused on the new lot behind me. <laughs> so what did you think of the... That was really good, well themed. I liked all the sort of off angles. Yeah, definitely. And, yeah. and it was never a level floor anywhere in there. <laughs> what did you think of the... I won't give too much away, in case people do it, the smoke effects, the... Tunnel. Oh, that was... That, yeah, that was creepy there. Yeah, it definitely. Really, yes. Look at... You okay there? Tunnels. I hate them! <laughs> and that one had an extra bonus for you if you ate them. Yeah. So, as you actually said, not spoiling it, but, oh, no. Yeah. And it was a bit hot in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trying not to sweat. No. <laughs> what did you think? I enjoyed it. Glad for all the things that touch it. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy? Yeah, I was going to hate spiders though, so... <laughs> I know someone else that doesn't like spiders. I, uh, no, not about that life. What, spiders? No, I don't hate them. <laughs> didn't even have to move. No. I just hate the things. Um, yeah, walk the plank. Yeah, walk the plank. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> what did you think overall? Yeah, it's really good. Well themed. Yeah. Brilliant. What about the ending? I think it could be a bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's kind not, of finishes, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's out. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. I think there's the, no ending really, is No, the spiders build you up yeah, yeah. and then there's nothingness, is there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah. need some sort of, someone to chase you out or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. I thought with the dog saw noises we were going to get out of a uh, wolf action or something. Uh, me too. <laughs> so while we're on the subject of stuff here, what's your favourite ride here? Oh, it's got to be Helix. Helix? Yeah. Good stuff. Oh yeah, it's a great ride. Have you enjoyed the behind the scenes stuff? Oh yeah, that has yeah. been great, yeah. Boulder, Randy, Helix of course. Did you sign Boulder? Is that? Did oh, you yeah. sign it? Yeah. Boulder. My name is on that Boulder. 
support note. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Let's hope they don't replace it soon. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why I put ours on a couple. Oh, there you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not like that? Scary. scary. Let's go back. As scary as the drop tower? Nearly. 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 <laughs> Nothing's as scary as a drop tower for Mark. No, no. Who doesn't like spiders? Yeah. I do, but they weren't that scary. What did you think? They are so scary. scary. Deep fellow. I didn't think it was bad last year, but I swear it was worse oh, yeah. this year. <laughs> We've just ramped everything up because we're here. <laughs> what did you think, Dan? It was incredibly long. Yeah. It was... <laughs> I think... Well, it was towards the back, so we didn't get as much, did we? But didn't jump it was, no. I didn't jump. It was, it was Those three long. were on yeah. the floor at one point. Yeah. Oh, good. But, I didn't get that I didn't get anything. That's mainly because we were back here. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. I'm glad we did it. It's good. It's good. Yeah. They got all the scares and they were on the floor for most of the <laughs> How would you compare it to the ones we get at like Friday nights and Scarefest? It's, it's got good theming. Yeah. The actors aren't that scary. Not as full on are they? They more sort of guide you, don't they? Yeah, but yeah. They don't, when they jump. They just at yeah. you and then right. That's it. No, that's it. But they don't it. like get right in your face. They just they just jump out. And yeah. Ah. Here we go. Here's some more reactions. You can tell who's been at the front. They're all getting petrified. Enjoy that. Did you? Scared? Oh, I was okay. <laughs> Enjoy it. Jump much? Couple. Yeah, couple. You know, even jumping jump front and you jump first. You yeah, you, you know something's coming. It's all what? It's all about the It's more about the theming. It's more about the theming, yeah. So we're now going to give the Leesburg Rapids ago. Oh wow! Thank, thankfully, we won't we be queuing in there. Oh, good right stuff. Here, the full, the full queue it took us like 20 minutes. So this will be the first time on these rapids yeah, for me. Yeah, we literally queued from there and it took us about what 20 minutes. The whole queue is 20 minutes. All the time. I don't think we're allowed to film on these rapids, but I will get some off-ride footage of them. around 8 o'clock at night Swedish time and we're in a second day at Leesburg. Currently some of the PBE members are going on the log through. You might be able to tell, you might not. It is raining quite heavily here at the moment. Um, it's been a great weekend so far. The park is amazing. It reminds me a lot of Blackpool just because of the space in it. It's quite short quite a short space park but they crammed a lot in and the rides are brilliant. The, um, the trip would have been worth it without everything that we've received from Leesburg, but what we have has been incredible. We've done numerous ERTs, numerous behind the scenes, and it's all been just totally worth it. The experience has been unforgettable. Hello! So how was your log flume experience? Uh, about as wet as Valhalla. I'm thinking of renaming PBE to log flume experience because we just hammer log flumes wherever oh, we go. It was fun though, yeah. I'll give it that. Well, we can see where you're soaked because your top changes colour. 
Yeah, so <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. And uh, if you're wondering who did the filming, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he took the right decision. Wobbly hand. Wobbly hand, yeah. How was that? Wet. You two don't look too soaked. <laughs> Group hug. Now you are wet. <laughs> he is like the Valhalla monster though. He loves yeah. it. Oh, I don't mind. It's only water. It's only water, and you'll soon dry off. Well, maybe not. No. <laughs> well, maybe about ten o'clock later on. Yeah. Are you Team Taron or Team Helix? Team Helix. Oh, you legend. I thought you were going to say no, Taron. I'm, I'm not Luca. <laughs> Luca literally like, is obsessed with Intamin and Taron. He does not shut up about it. <laughs> Fair enough. I like both, but just, okay, they both can be good. Not one's like, massively better than the other. So from someone who's not been on Taron, I don't think it looks that good. <laughs> you so, don't. No. Videos don't so what is, what's good about the, it? Look, the second launch is ridiculous. Like the force you get from it yeah. pins you back in your seat. Good and there's stuff. a lot of air time that you don't realise in some yeah. of the sharp turns. So it's really, and a long layout as well. Yeah, I'll let you know in October, yeah. I think. You'll Definitely. Love it, you'll love it, but I don't know. I, put, I like the inversions as well. Yeah. So Helix combines everything. So after one amazing ride on Helix in the almost dark, we are back in the queue for another go and hopefully this time it will be dark by the time we get on it. And once again a lot of our group are playing on the Helix game. Here's Joel, the champion of the Helix yeah. game. You won a fast pass didn't you? Yeah, I can look at it. You've, you've been nominated to be the camera victim. Thanks. Have you enjoyed Leesburg these last two days? It's been fantastic. Absolutely amazing event. It's been so, so good. And been lots of nice surprises with the two times Balder behind the scenes. Two times Balder. Here at least behind the scenes. Maintenance shed last night. Superb. Good stuff. And favourite ride still Atmosphere? Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> Loved it, honestly. Yeah, and seriously, Helix is your favourite, isn't it? Helix. Just, I don't know, Balder's just so close to it as well, though. It's so good. 
Have you done Taron? Yes. Team Taron or Team Helix? Taron. Hey. Yeah. So that is our day at Leesburg over. It has been another fantastic day here. And I hope, really hope you've enjoyed the footage from behind the scenes at Leesburg and the other general park footage that we have got. We are back here again tomorrow for one more day at this fantastic amusement park here in Gothenburg, Sweden. If you've never been to Leesburg, I definitely recommend that you get out here. It is a fantastic park with great rides. I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog and we will have another vlog to come from Leesburg which we'll be filming tomorrow which will show more of the park in it definitely. So I just want to say thanks for watching this Pleasure Beach Experience video from Leesburg and we will see you in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video. Thanks for watching.